For this course, you're going to need a installation of TensorFlow and Keras with Python. You have a couple of ways to go about that. One is to use Google Colab. However, this video is about how to set up a local environment of Python with a GPU using WSL2 on a Windows machine. And the way it's set up, you have to use WSL2. This is just how TensorFlow is currently distributed as of 2023 in March. So the very first thing that you want to do is install the NVIDIA driver. Also, I focus primarily on NVIDIA. I don't have AMD technology. AMD technology is not real common in the cloud. And so it's, it's just not an area that I focus upon. And it's, it's a more complex path. It's not supported as well in the machine learning thing, and I'm all about the path of least resistance. Now my GPU, which went in video, was awesome to provide for this video is an NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA generation. Really any GPU that is shown here is, is going to work. Just the 40 series is certainly going to be faster than the 30, which is faster than the 20, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and search and we shall download it. Agree and download. I'll fast forward to this. Depends on your connection speed, how long this takes. Okay, it is running. I'll say yes. Okay, it's installing. I'm gonna to have to stop my recording because we are modifying the video driver. So the driver's now installed. So we're back here on the WSL2. Now, what you're gonna to have to do before you hop into any of this is you need to install WSL2. And for this, we're just going to open up a PowerShell and we're gonna do WSL minus minus install. And you have to give it the appropriate permissions and it's off to the races. We'll fast forward through this part. It does install Ubuntu by default, certainly the path of res least resistance, which I'm all about. Okay, the system needs to be rebooted, so I'm going to stop my recording for that. So we've already completed a number of the steps here. We have the NVIDIA driver loaded. We installed WSL2, and we've restarted and specified our user ID and password. And remember those, because you're going to need them later. Now we're going to install Python and TensorFlow. So we're going to make use of... Anaconda, specifically Minaconda. Now I am using the version of Minaconda that was suggested by the current documentation for Keras and TensorFlow. This tends to update as this video ages. So these installation scripts, which are specific to the course, are based on this document, which I'll put a link to in the description as well. It's important that all the versions line up. So you can see right here, these are the current versions that they're suggesting for the current version of TensorFlow. And the current version of TensorFlow is down here. 2.11.star is the current version of TensorFlow. And this is the current versions of the CUDA Toolkit and CUDNN. I have another video that follows just this document and does not install any of the specific stuff to my course. I'll put a link to that as well in the description. So we're going to run these commands here. Let's go ahead and get PowerShell open. And there we have Windows PowerShell. I will go ahead and copy the curl command that does the download. I do like to run these separately. That way I can see what is going on when something goes wrong. All right, it's downloading that. We'll fast forward through this. Okay, we have downloaded Minaconda. Now we're gonna actually run the little install script that we just grabbed. Actually, it's not little, it's pretty big. All right, paste it in, we'll run that. Okay, we'll press enter to continue. Lots of stuff to read. Yes, we accept the license. Not like we have a choice. We'll install it there and it's doing its installation. I'll go ahead and fast forward this. Yes, we do want it to initialize the shell. I'll show you what that does right now, actually. So 
the shell lets you know which virtual your environment you're in and issue certain commands right from the shell. So we're going to continue following this down here. We're going to exit and then go right back into WSL and run WSL. Notice now we have this nice base here. That means we're in the base environment. Before we install anything else, we are going to go ahead and install Jupyter. This is the IDE that we use in this course. There's certainly more advanced ones out there. Jupyter Labs pretty nice. We'll go ahead and run this, and it's going to install Jupyter. It's installing it to the base environment, and this is going to allow us to get to the other environments that we'll set up. We're going to set up just one to run the course. Now this is installing. I'll fast forward through this. And there we are. So now we're going to run these commands down here. This will download the tools.yaml file. This configures all of the software that we need for the course, and this includes the CUDA libraries and TensorFlow. This is the file that you may want to manually edit the versions if you want to move it to something later from what I put together at the beginning of each particular semester. So we'll put that there. That'll just download it. It's a very short file. We're going to run this command that will execute that tools YAML file and create a virtual environment called TensorFlow. This is actually a virtual environment inside of a virtual environment because WSL is a virtual environment itself. We'll run this. This takes a little while. So we're going to fast forward through it. So that took a while, but we're done. We will follow along and we'll go ahead and do conda activate TensorFlow. You'll see the base becomes TensorFlow. We're going to run this part so that our newly created environment shows up in Jupyter. That installs the necessary tools for this to happen. We'll fast forward. We will proceed. All right, that's done. That now allows this command, which actually adds our new virtual environment to Jupyter. That's very quick. All right, we're getting there. So let's go ahead and run these lines of code. This causes the library paths that are necessary for TensorFlow to find CUDA and the other libraries. So we'll paste that in, run that. That's very quick, as is this. All right, we've installed a lot of stuff. I'm going to stop the video and reboot at this point. Okay, we are rebooted. So let's go ahead and open up a PowerShell and we'll launch WSL. I'm following the instructions that I have right here. We're about to run Jupyter Notebook. I'll add the run WSL there. Another thing that is very critical to do, particularly on Windows platforms, even when you're in WSL 2, is you do need to kind of activate TensorFlow before you even launch Jupyter Notebook. And likewise, if you change environments, make sure you come out, go back in. That does tend to work better on real Linux and Mac. So we're going to open up the notebook. I'm going to just create a new one. And we're just going to paste this code in, paste this here, and we're going to run it and see what happens. If things go off the rails, this is usually where it happens. And look at this, an explosion of errors. Well, not really. And GPU is available. So the key thing is this. TensorFlow tends to just assume that extra things are there that you might not have, like NUMA, if you'd probably want to compile that in if you've got like multiple CPUs. Although in that case, I'm not depending on the CPUs because I'm doing more GPU. So th these are what they are. If you're getting GPU is not available, look at what some of the ones that you're getting beyond the normal ones that I'm getting here and Google. And post in the comments, because believe me, every time that I go through this and update for a semester, I look at what problems people have had. I don't have time to help. I get so many emails and I do feel bad, but I don't have time to sit with individuals and, and help them install this. Believe me, I could probably spend all my time doing that. There's so, so many questions I get asking for one-on-one -on -one help. Unless you're one of my students at Warsh then you get one-on-one -on -one help. All right. Now that you've got this all installed, you're ready for the class. Was this helpful? Please like and subscribe.